Christmas TV. Now, folks, Christmas is around the corner, which we all know means the revival of the one and only Mariah Carey. Yeah, all I want for Christmas is no more Mariah Carey, please. Mm. Now, you haven't asked, uh, but my week was a hell of a week, Christy. It was oh. uh, quite intense. What happened? Well, my ex-wife. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah number two. Uh, my ex-wife, she had a Christmas party down at Nakatomi Plaza, and these terrorists, they stormed the joint, but luckily I was nearby. Wait a sec. Yeah, so I was, I, was, I was crawling through ventilation ducts. I was swinging off the roof. I was hanging from chandeliers, doing what needed to be done to save the day. It was intense. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the plot of Die Hard. Pretty sure that was my Wednesday, but I uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> Okay, back in the real world, we have a banging episode coming up for you. Oh, yes. We've got surfing powerhouse Connor O'Leary, Instagram powerhouse Isabel Mathers, and fitness powerhouse Garfield. Sounds like a powerhouse of an episode of Maxim <laughs> TV. Yippee Kaye, let's do this. You. Now, this is my favourite part of the show. I love how honest and open the, the viewers are in Maxim Mail. The first one comes in from Ben uh, from Bondi in New South Wales. He writes this Hey, Curls, I'm a big fan of sport and your physique. Thanks, mate. Uh, are you into boxing? If so, who's your favourite boxer at the moment? Well, thanks, Ben. I uh, hope you're making the most of that pause feature on your smart TV. Uh, luckily, you are, because my favourite uh, boxer at the moment is actually being interviewed by Maxim. Uh, he's from the East, Kennedy Govican. Let's uh, have a look at him. I remember a lot of great champions I watch, a lot of great fights in Madison Square Garden. You know, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Sugar Ray Robinson, just the best arena in the world for me, you know, just like this mecca of boxing. So I remember a long time ago, I watched just, oh, maybe in the future, this is my dream fight, this is my dream plates, you know? It's a great moment, just my first fight in big arena. Oh, this is awesome. It's my dream, you know, big, big moment. And this is my position. Yeah, this is very good for me and for my team, you know, for my career. I remember my emotion. I see he's finished. Referee, tell him just, are you okay? He says, no. I'm like, ooh, that's it? Okay. Awesome stuff. Loved him on The Disaster Artist as well. Very cool. <laughs> Same guy. Uh, now, Curls, if you are going to box, be sure to wear some boxing gloves. Very true. Hot box tip. with a glove. Here's the next one. Coming from a little lady. Yes. Now, this next email is from Belinda. Hey, Belinda. Belinda. Um, now, I'm a big fan of cars. This is Belinda, not me. Uh, and I love your reviews. What's your favourite car of all time? And please don't say a Mazda MX-5. Only mm -hmm. milk and juice comes in two litres. Burn! Oh, look <laughs> out. forever. This is true. I love the mm. MX-5s going up. Just kidding. Not at all. I'm a Ferrari man. We've got a bit of a surprise for the Euro car lovers coming up later in this episode of Maxim TV. What are you, are you into cars there? Are you impressed by them? Um, yes. Uh, I, I like a car with air conditioning. Uh, okay. must, must have a mirror on the driver's mm. side and a cup holder. Moving on. Oh! We have a bonus question this week. It's follow One more. up. Hey, Stacey and Bundaberg from Queensland. You did ask about our Hot 100 party last it episode. Did. It's a great um, episode. She says, hey guys, I wasn't really satisfied with the answer you gave me. Oh. Appreciate the feedback. It's yeah. always nice. Wow, so was. Uh, the only thing you can possibly do to make it up to me is by reading this on air and showing some footage of stunning Maxim Covergirl Isabel Mathers. There's one thing I've learned this week is you'd never negotiate with terrorists. I don't know where you're from or who you are, Stacey, but we're not pandering to your requests or your demands here on Maxim TV. No way. No way. Roll the clip. Wow, send us some colourful characters there and colourful questions. Keep them on coming. Send them to maxim at maxim.com.au. We absolutely love hearing from you, especially that Twitter handle. What a legend. Get wow, in touch. yeah. Now, should we look at some footage from uh, up-and-coming Aussie surfer Connor O'Leary? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it was a rhetorical question, Carlos. Oh, I was playing a lot. Obviously. Mm. <laughs> Here's the nicest guy to beat Kelly Slater in surfing. Hey, what a year you've had. A, uh, a massive year, uh, a few upsets in there. How was the... Um, How's the moment beating beating Kelly Slater from naught to zero? How pissed off was he at that point? Yeah, he, he's uh, he's a pretty serious dude. Yeah. But um, yeah, in the moment, he's all like out of the water. He was all 
He was all stoked in the eye. Having a laugh, having a beer. Yeah, yeah, not so much the beer, but yeah, I guess having a laugh. What, what about uh, to, back back home growing up? You, your parents were, were into surfing. Mum was a champion Japanese surfer. If you had to call it, who's a better surfer, your mum or your dad? Probably, probably my mum. Oh, actually, my dad's pretty good. He just gets hurt all the time. So, yeah. yeah. You know, if it's like, you know... Consistency? Injury, yeah, consistency. Yeah, mum, for sure. You know, she's, yeah. still, she's still surfing every day. So, yeah, it's, it's epic to see, and she's all stoked. Obviously, it's a dream life, so getting paid to do what you love. But what do you love about surfing so much? It's just such like a like a free-natured sport. I mean, you, anyone can grab a surfboard, don't even have to wear a wetsuit, you know, grab a pair of boardies and run down and enjoy the ocean. And it's free, and who doesn't love the salt water, really? Any cliches, any uh, stereotypes about surfing you'd like to dismiss? For our sharkers, any... Uh, the shark is overrated. <laughs> yeah. Everyone who doesn't surf does it. But a lot of people that don't surf much do it to you. And you're kind of like, yeah, okay, look. Good on you, man. Yeah, but yeah. everyone loves a shaka. Oh, yeah. I love throwing a shaka occasionally, yeah. but I'd be, I'm more of a peace sign guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. does a shaka, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Peace. Talk us through, you got a bit of a bit of a spot idea with Oakley. That must be pretty sweet, getting fresh frames all the time. You know, I had to pay for sunnies and I just kept losing him and all that. And, and then I got a sunglass monster and I don't lose them as much yeah. because, like, you know, they're so much better than the sunnies I've bought. Uh, bought. Yeah, I was so, going to say, those ones are like solid metal, so just, just psychologically. Like metal, yeah, so, you know. Yeah. Oakley's always sort of been big on tech. I'd suggest whoever the uh, big boss there is to, you know those little tiles you put on your keys and you find them in your mobile phone? Yeah, and actually tracking sunnies. devices <laughs> on your sunnies. Yeah, that'd be so good. They might get in trouble, though. We yeah. might get in trouble. Probably lower sales, actually, and destroy yeah. all sunglass companies. Yeah. yeah, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Here's what's coming up on Maxim TV. We show you how to make a killer summer cocktail, get revved up with the team at Hot Import Nights. And Garfield has a crack at fitness. That's all coming up on Maxim TV, driven by Altitude. Welcome back to Maxim TV, the show that 8 out of 10 nutritionists recommend. And that's just for the fibre. He's a man who doesn't believe in fibre or nutritionists, in fact, but he does believe in love. Ah, oh, our resident ranger Garfield. I mean, he thinks he's still on a dating show six episodes in. It's unbelievable. Here's Maxim Fitness. Say six or six segments I, in. It was confusing. I'm, I'm fermented. Action Alexa here and welcome to Maxim Fitness. Now sometimes it just feels like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Not so much the shoulders for me. <sighs> Today we're going to work the shoulders so we can make the waist look littler. Okay, yeah, that, that works I guess. <laughs> Today we went through two exercises, my personal favourites. We did a bit of dead hanging, which is great for shoulder health. Look, I know Alexa's probably got other clients, and, and that's cool, but you know what? I feel like we have a really great connection. She's, she's really special to me. We worked the muscles of the front of the shoulder, the side of the shoulder, and the back of the shoulder to make sure that Garfield had the best possible posture. Alexa and I have had a lot of time together, all the challenges we've done, all the hard work that we've put in together, so obviously we've gotten really close, but there is just something really intriguing about Tiana. I, I don't know what it is, but there's something about her. And then we did some farmer carries, and I think Garfield should just move to a farm. I know that Alexa was joking about me becoming a farmer. She makes that look easy, and for those playing at home, that is tough, okay? That is hard work. Oh my God, that was exhausting. Like, I need a margarita now. We all need a drink after that. Uh, Garfield summer bodies are definitely made in winter. Keep at it, buddy. Yeah. Keep at it. Now, we've got going. a uh, bit of a cocktail here. It's called Smoke and Passion. It sounds like it could be a, a strip club or an adult film, but it's something far more innocent from our beautiful bartending buddy in Brooklyn, Shano. Take it away, mate. My name is Shane, and I bartend at Tandem Bar in Bushwick. Summertime, people like mezcal. I love mezcal, so I want to share a drink with you here that involves that. Start off with an ounce and a half mezcal, which, if you don't know, has a really nice smoky flavor. We have house-made ginger beer here, which we put an ounce and a half of in that to the shaker. And then we have a half ounce of passion fruit puree, which adds a really great tartness to it. Add some ice to the cocktail shaker. Get my glassware ready. This should be served in a rocks glass. Real vigorous shaker. Strain it over the ice. 
Now the last stage, this is what makes it beautiful, is a pomegranate reduction. Nice, beautiful, dark color at the bottom. That we call a smoke and passion. Still to come on Max and TV, driven by Ultratune, we take a look under the bonnet of hot import nights, plus your chance to be there next weekend. We deep fry and pimp a golden gay time with our mates at Milky Lane. After the break on Max and TV. Now, nobody likes to get stuck in a pickle, do they, Curls? No way. I was actually in an unexpected situation in York once. This, uh, this criminal mastermind was leaving clues all over the city, and, and me and Samuel L. Jackson are trying to work it out before he pulls off this major heist. It was a crazy, crazy day. Yeah, that would be the plot to Die Hard 3. Well done, Curls. Similar. Very similar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking real-life unexpected situations, and here we have the Ultratune Rubber Girls to help you out with some handy hints. So me and Sam, we've got a gun each, nothing else other than the will to live and the will to stop bad people. In your mind, this happened. As the old saying goes, the weight of a man's heart is It's through. a swift elbow to the solar plexus. Once the chest cavity collapses, you reach inside and take what's yours. Good on, good on, good on, good on. Through the stomach. Oh, you can do that as well. It's slow and not as effective, but uh, what you do is you get the elbow into the yeah. stomach and then just fly Hopefully open the navel. you haven't lost your appetite. Here's our head chef from Milky Lane doing all sorts of insane things through a golden gay time, which is illegal in five states of Australia. Wow. Folks, this is Maxim Cooking. We're back here with Scott from Milky Lane. Now we're going to try to attempt to deep fry a golden gay time. Yeah. Talk us through it. How Easy. does this work? Uh, so you grab the golden gay time. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut it in um, maple syrup, crush up our root biscuit, then into egg, then into uh, corn flakes, back in the egg, back in the corn flakes, freeze it for about half an hour, into the fryer, coat it in uh, liquid Nutella and salt caramel sauce. Wow. Out. Just to be clear, Gay Time, you're not sponsored by Gay Time. Not you yet. just chose to, yeah. not yet. I'll do one, then you do one. Okay, sure. You can't have a Gay Time on your own. No. We get a couple in. Get a What you want to do is fill up all those gaps. If you get a gap, it's going to explode in the deep fryer. Should I start dunking mine? Yeah, you go for it. Okay, great. And dunk. Maybe use two hands. Two hands. I'll get done dunking. Here you go. She made it. Perfect. Just like yours. Exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. Right, right. We just pulled it from the freezer. Yeah, it's been in there for about an hour now. Nice and set. Uh, we're going to put it into the fryer for about one minute on 180. How can you tell when it's ready? The gay time's already golden, so... Yeah, one minute. Oh. Liquid Nutella on top, salt caramel, ready to go. Ready to go. How ready do you go. recommend folks eat this? Pick it up by the stick, take a couple of bites, hope for the best. After the break, we check out the fastest ever Ferrari, get your motor running with all things hot import nights, and we crack open the vault to unveil one of Maxim's former cover girls. That's all still to come on Maxim TV. Are you ready for some fun Ferrari facts? 
course you are. Certainly are. Next year marks the 80th anniversary of the luxury auto manufacturer with 16 trophies to its name and more F1 constructor championships than any other team. We're about to show you the launch of their fastest ever production car, the 488 Pista, with 185 horsepower per litre F1 tech and a pimp version of the engine of the year for the last three years running. Yes, I am excited about those facts. Yeah, you can really see it in his face. It's going a little red there. Mm, Ferrari red. <laughs> Buongiorno a tutti, ladies and gentlemen, the new Ferrari 488 Pista. Herb Aperoth, uh, CEO of Ferrari Australasia, mate, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Mate, you, you. You've been dreaming about cars like this since you were very young. I have. It started yep. uh, as, as far as I can remember, actually. Yep. My, my entire bedroom was covered with uh, the dream cars of growing up. So. All, all the gold. I think it's the classic sort of uncle joke growing up. It's like, oh, I got your Ferrari for Christmas. Yeah, the little matchbox little car. Little matchbox, yeah. Uh, yep. When did it first become a reality for you, your first first Ferrari? Cause you... Well, I did. You know, I worked essentially all the way through <laughs> school and university and did yeah. everything I could yep. uh, and bought uh, um, a 355 GTS, so right. it's, uh, it's like a, still a fancier version of one of these. Very, well, it's a very similar version actually, Russell Corsa with the beige interior. Yep. I mean, I still remember the day, it was that you know dream coming yeah. alive. So. And what about the 488 Pista just come out? Obviously, they are the most powerful uh, Ferrari ever built. We only launched it a couple of months ago globally, and to have it here uh, in our new facility here, Ferrari mm. North Shore, our new workshop, it's, it's an incredible car. It's the fastest V8 uh, sports car we've ever produced, 720 horsepower, yeah. uh, 2. 0.85 seconds more to 100. You know, the engine straight from the 488 Challenge, uh, the aerodynamics from our F1 team, that beautiful S duct, first time on a road car. On this particular car, we've got here some of the brand new carbon wheels for to make it even lighter. And what I'm very proud about is actually those carbon wheels are made by an Australian company. They're made out of Geelong. Beautiful. Thanks, Herb. And thanks for the, uh, the keys to the Pista, too. I'll be back probably Monday, Tuesday. The little scale so. model one, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, Herb. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks so much. What an epic look at the fastest ever Ferrari. If you'd like to win a 488 Pista, keep dreaming. They don't give them away. But we do have a giveaway in just a few moments. Now, when I first heard about Hot Import Nights, I thought it was some sort of international speed dating event. Uh, it's not. It is based on going fast, though. Yeah, in the most uh, striking and stylish way possible. Uh, the world-renowned car and music showcase basically is known for making the Fast and the Furious flicks look like a bridal expo. Mm. So we jumped at the chance to take a look at the event. Now, here's Curls taking a look under their hood. Jess, thanks for joining us. Now, tell us about Hot Import Nights. What's it about? Give us the lowdown. Hot Import Nights is an automotive lifestyle event. It's absolutely amazing. We see all these modified cars, uh, all these beautiful women in the Miss Hot Import Nights competition. You'll see dancing, you'll see food trucks, you'll see absolutely everything. Where's it come from? What's the story? Well, it's got a history of 20 years um, from the American car scene. It started on the West Coast and they've even played a part in sourcing cars for the movie Fast and Furious. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and a bit of gaming as well. They've been involved in some PS4 and Xbox. Uh -huh. You'll also be able to see for the very first time the CLB 3 on 3 basketball competition. What is the CLB for people who aren't? Obviously, you and me know exactly what it is. For the people at home that don't know exactly what the CLB 3 on 3 uh, 1 2 v uh, basketball comp is. Well, it's a very very quick paced basketball game where you have to enter online and there will be a winner announced on that day. Uh -huh. mm. And on top of that, there'll also be a street dance battle. Right. Mm -hmm. I assume yeah. breakdancing is going to be the preference. You're yeah, not going to... Popping is okay as well. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of popping. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do a bit of it. A little bit of, yeah. So what are the rules and regs of being selected to be part of Hot Import Nights? We encourage all cars and motorbikes to enter. You can modify your mm. vehicle. That's why there's a screening process. Just like <laughs> yeah. Idol, you know, okay. you have a panel of judges yeah. and we do yeah. have very strict judges. And that's mm. why we encourage well, everybody to visit the show because this is the best of the best in Australia. Thanks so much, Jess. Sounds like an epic event. I'm definitely going to be there if you'd like to be a part of it. It's all happening Saturday, December the 15th in Sydney. Check out all the details at hotimportnights.com.au. You can get your tickets and uh, get a bit of an idea of what's going on on that website. Thanks again. Thank you, James. 
Now, if you are Sydney-based and you and a friend want to attend Hot Import Nights 2018, why don't you email us, maxim at maxim.com.au, and tell us in 25 words or less what else HIN could stand for. Well, that's another classic episode of Maxim TV, done and dusted, Christy. Mm -hmm. Speaking of classics, we're going to explore our vault and showcase some of our old footage. Oh, yes, some of our favourite Maxim cover superstars throughout the years. Who have we got today? Well, today we've got the beautiful Christina Aguilera, the little lady with the booming voice who arguably is one of the hotter genies that has ever been stuck in a bottle. Here she is with her 2013 cover. We'll see you next week or in 63 seconds if you're Maxim binging on 7+. Plus. Stay classy, Australia.